In this video, I'm going to be showing you a great passing concept at a trip side end to be able to attack man coverage, zone coverage, match coverage, uh, really, really effectively to the sideline. Now, if you are new to the channel and you want to check out the trip side end offensive ebook, make sure that you get my uh, Patreon. The link is in the description. It's only 10 bucks uh, to become a Patreon member. So if you want to sign up for that, uh, you can head down to the description and click the link down below. You'll get access to all of my Madden 23 offensive and defensive ebooks uh, over at the Patreon. Now, the play is PA slot corner. You can find this in the New England Patriots trip side, trip side in. And we're going to show you a really effective way to attack both man and zone coverage with this play. The setup for this play is very simple. We are going to streak Cooper Cup. We are going to drag the tight end, and we're going to slant Jalen Waddle and motion him across. So as you see here, this is what the player is going to look like. Against zone coverage, you're going to have a high low between your corner route and your tight end drag coming across the formation to be able to attack may, uh, our zone coverage. So that was cover four. Let me show you here cover three real quick. So again, the setup, Street Cooper Cup, slant Jalen Waddle, and drag your tight end. You're going to motion Jalen Waddle across, and you're going to see here, as you can see, that corner route just cooking zone coverage. It's such a good corner route this year. It's going to be able to attack both man uh, and zone coverage really, really, really well. Now, uh, let me jump into cover two, show you cloud flat. So if they do have a cloud flat on the field, you're going to see that cloud flats this year, they just don't get very uh, deep and they don't get back to the sideline very well. So we're able to attack cover four, cover three, and cover two, all with the same basic setup. Now, what your opponent is probably going to do out of zone is potentially something like this. They're going to start backing people up and they're going to basically try to play a double Mabel coverage in the middle of the field. What that does is it's going to isolate one defender in the middle of the field uh, for us to be able to attack with our slant and our drag route. So what you're going to see here is the drag is going to pull the user ideally, and then you're going to have this slant kind of coming open right in that little pocket, right in that little area right there. So as you can see, we're able to attack not only just the basic zones, but when they start adjusting and trying to stop those deep sideline passes, you're going to be able to throw that, that uh, route right there. Now I want to show you this against man-to-man. -man. We'll get into match coverage in just a second as well. Um, but what you're going to see against man-to-man -man is, in general, you want to run against man and sit against zone. This play, pretty much nobody's going to sit down. So you're going to be able to attack man really, really well. The corner route is your number one route against man, as you see right there. If you put short in elite on that corner route, he is going to play really, 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 really well in man coverage. Now, if their opponent says, you know what, we need to go user, um, you know, we need to go user and defend the corner route, then what you're going to be able to do is you're going to be able to attack with your tight end drag, or you're going to be able to attack with your slant. So as you see right here, my tight end drag is coming open. I can simply check that right down to the tight end drag if I see them user and go right to that guy. Now, another scenario that could potentially play out is they are going to load up, maybe put a hard flat over here to the trip side or whatever, but they're going to try to put some more coverage over to that left side, and this is where the slant route really becomes valuable. They have to go user the corner route, and that's one of the keys that this offense is built on. They have to go user that corner route, which leaves my slant wide open over the middle, and hopefully they don't have short route KO, right? Uh, but as you can see, he's he's coming open again. I'll show you to you one more time. Again, we're anticipating that their user defender is going to have to go guard the corner route. Uh, and so that's what's going to leave the slant wide open over the middle. Now, your, uh, your deep streak, sometimes they will bump and he will be open for a touchdown as well. Um, but as you can see, Jalen Waddles let me down a little bit. But as you can see, you know, he's open. He's over the middle. He's, you know, he's going to be in a good spot. Now, again, if they're, you know, if they're playing just fantastic man coverage, you can try to get this guy out a little bit more. Sometimes that'll get him a little bit more separation. And don't throw it over the middle, but you want to wait on that to cut a little bit more uh, over the middle to get open. So, as you can see, you know, this is a pretty decent man beater. This is more of a zone beater than a man beater, but it is decent against man. We're going to cover match here in just a second. I want to show you, I want to show you this, this slant one more time. Again, you just want to snap it. He has short out elite, so you want to snap it outside of the numbers. You see there he lights up. We're able to throw the ball, and he's able to drop it for me for the four straight time. That's why knockout abilities are the best thing in Madden. But bottom line is, Throw your drag if they really, uh, if he's going to drop it, he's going to drop it. Call man beater, right? Whatever. But let's get into match coverage. Um, you know, generally speaking, most people aren't going to have a short route knockout on that player, to be honest. They're going to have some type of medium route KO or something. So, anyway, for what it's worth. But let's go to match here. So, with match coverage, this corner route can be kind of bad, as you can see right there. Um, and so, you've got to throw this a little bit differently. 
against match coverage to make it super effective. So when we throw this against match, we're trying to throw it down and outside um, really, really hard, hard, hard down and outside. So like right there, you see that little tight window. So you can actually hit that um, against match if they're going to play a lot of match coverage. Now, what I also know about match coverage is people will over adjust their match, which is then going to leave potentially your, your slant or your tight end wide open over the middle. So you see here, I don't know why that tight end ran that drag terribly, but um, the tight end drag has uh, potential to be open as well. So, you know, again, we're going to show you this real quick. So again, super simple setup. You don't have to have Hot Run Master or anything for this. And again, if you see here, man, he's running that drag just so bad. But you have the slant in behind it. So you can throw the drag or the slant. Generally speaking, if they're going to run match coverage on you, uh, my my bet is your slant is going to be the best route on the field. Okay? Uh, this corner route is really good. The corner route can be just a little weird um, against match. And it's because of the, the way he runs it. So you, you see how if I don't throw see how if I don't throw that at the sideline, if I throw that too early, that right there is what happens. So you need to make sure that when you're throwing this, that you're waiting to get him to the sideline where you can throw the ball where only your receiver can catch the ball. Um, that's the key to making this play like a million and one times better against match. Now I'll show you something else. You can also ag it. If you ever get in trouble, you can just come back to the ball and ag it. The other thing I want to show you against match though, um, is you will occasionally have Cooper Cup wide open over the top. The way you want to throw this streak is you want to pass lead it up and inside because that there's going to be some leverage there just like that. See how they bump just like that? And you get this guy over the top against match. So match can be good, but match, match can also be really, really, really bad because it can leave stuff like that open. PS slot corner is one of the best and most versatile plays in Madden 23. If you want to learn my entire trip side in offensive ebook, make sure you join our Patreon. The link to sign up for that is down in the description. $10 is going to get you access to all of our ebooks and updates. Thanks for watching this video. And again, if you want to sign up for the Patreon, head down to the description below and click the link down below.